Jesus is condemned to die. People in this world are being condemned because of the color of their skin, gender, their beliefs, or, or even if they have disability. Sometimes people can be innocent and are accused for something they have not done. Jesus takes up his cross. Just like Jesus, carrying a heavy cross and feeling the pain of thorns, we carry problems of illness, pain, old age, and caring for the people who don't remember who we are. There are also problems of fear and loneliness, which Jesus probably felt during this tough time in his life. Jesus falls for the first time. Some of us stumble like Jesus, but we should never stay flat on the ground. Instead, we should get up like Jesus did. The world is full of problems and you need to face them, even if you stumble. Instead, we should learn how to pick up our own crosses. Jesus meets his mother. Heavenly Father, we ask you to help families who have to suffer the burden of losing a special person in their lives. Simon of the Cyrene helps Jesus. People are being judged and discriminated by their race, skin color, religious beliefs, and disabilities. We need to follow Jesus' example and always be kind to others, even though they might be our enemies. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Children all around the world are being abused for doing nothing. Children are feeling hurt and scared. They are not being loved. They need love to heal. Jesus fell for the second time. Jesus fell for the second time under the weight of the extremely heavy cross. The cross banged against the crown of thorns on his head. Blood trickled down his face. Then the soldiers whipped his back and forced him to get back up and move on. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. Today we are the ones who weep for the children that are abused, women who are victimized, for the young that cannot find a job or a way in life, for the old that are forgotten, for the people that starve in the shadows, for the people that are homeless, we weep for them. Jesus falls for the third time. We pray that when our strength fails, when our hope fades, and when our spirits grow weary, that we will put our trust in you. Jesus is stripped of his clothing. Let us pray. Lord, help us to always find the good in people and speak nicely about others. Jesus is nailed to the cross. Huge iron nails were brutally hammered into Jesus' wrists and ankles. He was in great pain as they lifted the cross for everyone to see. All the people were anxious that they could do nothing about it. They try to help him, but the guards will not let them. Jesus dies on the cross. Today we need to forgive the people who had done wrong to us. When it is hard to forgive these people, we have to ask Jesus to help us forgive. We also need to teach others how to forgive, love, and trust our Lord. Jesus is taken down from the cross. Every day we are given difficult jobs to do. Some of them we think are impossible to bear and we may not be able to do what we need to do. Like Mary, we need to remain strong and put our faith in Jesus as he will forever guide us. Jesus laid in the tomb. When Mary lost her son Jesus, she was heartbroken. And when we lose our loved ones, we feel Mary's pain. Jesus died for a reason. He died for us to take away our sins. Gathering here today is proof that Jesus' death is not in vain. When Jesus rises, we rise with him and 